Isaiah chapter 45, remember what it said in verse 1, thus says the Lord. How many people like to hear a thus says the Lord once in a while? I don't know about you, but it's been just seeming, uh, seems to me it's been common in my life as a Christian that the Lord would, um, you know, he speaks to me as a person. We all have a relationship with God, and so there is a thus saith the Lord in every one of us. The Lord can wake you up at night and say, this this is what I have to say to you. He can speak to you. Sometimes when you're not really thinking, sometimes when your mind is, you know, I'm not saying that your mind is shut off, like shut your mind off, you're thinking off completely, but sometimes when you're in that in-between place, the Lord interjects there. You know, like maybe driving down the road in your car, and sometimes you're just not thinking about anything, and all of a sudden the Lord speaks to you. How many people know I'm talking about? Those divine moments, Right? And sometimes the Lord will send you someone else. Sometimes someone in the church will have a word for you. Maybe you come to church and somebody's like, man, I've been praying for you this week and I've got something for you that I believe is from the Lord. And we love those thus saith the Lord moments. And then sometimes God will send you, you know, like the man of God. Sometimes like uh, Tim Hines here this week, like the prophet of God that will come and say, thus saith the Lord and speak in your life. I'm thinking about Molly here on Friday night. She had a thus saith the Lord and it affected her and changed her, touched her, touched the heart of her dad and her mom, right? But we all need thus saith the Lord's. We all need to always remember to test every thus saith the Lord by the scripture because the scripture is the biggest thus saith the Lord. This is what God said over and over and over again to many different people over many different ages and it all correlates. It's all unified. It's all saying one big thing. It's all telling us what we need to know to finish our race here and to make it all the way to the other side safely. And so any, any way of thus saith the Lord comes, whether it's a dream, whether it's a little word in your heart, whether it's someone else speaking to you, we, we, we test it but we're thankful for it. And I'll tell you what, it's even good sometimes to have a false thus saith the Lord. Are you here? Not so you can be deceived, but so that you can test your discernment. Your ability to go, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't quite jive with me. Something's just not right. Every once in a while, I believe it's good. See how quiet it gets? We're not sure that we think that is good. But every once in a while, it's good, I think, even to have the enemy slip up and try to insert something in your life. And you say, wait a minute, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just like Jesus dealt with the devil in the wilderness, that's how I'm going to deal with that word. If it's not what the Bible says, if it's not what inspired scripture says, then I'm not taking that to the bank. Amen? But we all need a thus saith the Lord. Thank God in the Old Testament we had all these people, all these prophets... We call them major prophets and minor prophets, and that's basically just according to the size of the books they wrote. They're all major prophets because they're all major voices for the Lord. Isaiah was one of the most major. He was one of the most outstanding. And here in Isaiah 45, that's what he's saying. He's saying, hey, listen to me. I'm saying something to you, but it's not really me. It's the Lord speaking to you. Raise your hand if you know it's important to take the time to explain everything that we just talked about. I think sometimes... Today, that God is not moving as much in the church because we don't know these basic things about him the way we should. But Isaiah said, thus saith the Lord. And the people in the nation, at least there was a remnant there that said, hey, what's God saying? 